Hi, so let's talk a little bit about more about motion. Motion is relative, and we're going to talk about what that means. We'll come back to that at the end, but motion is relative. Everything moves. Even things that look like they're standing still are still moving, especially if they're part of the Earth, because we know the Earth is moving um, around and around, and it's going around the sun, and it's turning on its axis, and our galaxy is moving, and so we're definitely moving even if it looks like things are standing still. But how do you tell if something's moving in your world? Motion is described with respect to other objects. So how do you know my hand is moving? Because the thing behind it is not, and you're actually comparing it. An object is moving relative to another object. So instead of the word relative, you could use compared to. So an object is moving if you can compare it to something that's not moving. When you have two things moving at the same time, it's a little bit harder to figure out. But you can tell that objects are moving if something else isn't moving. So objects are moving relative to one another. If you have two cars, you can tell which one's going faster because one is moving faster than the other, and the other's moving slower. So motion is described with respect to other objects. The official definition says an object is moving if its position relative to a fixed point is changing. So if my the position of my hand changes, if you look at that P and the position of my hand changes with respect to that, so my hand's above it, below it, to the right of it, to the left of it, that's how you know my hand is moving because it's, you're looking at a fixed point and you're comparing the position of my hand to that fixed point. Generally, we look at the surface of the earth for things to um, be relative to or compared to. We generally compare things to the surface of the earth. If you're at NASCAR, you're comparing them to the track. Um, if you're at the ball game, you're comparing it to the surface of the earth. So in general, we use the surface of the earth as what we compare things to to tell if they're in motion or not.